What's up guys, this is Chris, aka The Clever Guru. Today, we're gonna explore how to create breakout rooms within Google Meet without using any extensions. Let's explore. So the first thing we're gonna do is go into our Google Classroom. From here at the top, we'll see our Google Meet link that we've generated. If yours does not show this link, I encourage you to hit generate link and you will now have a link for that classroom. Once we have our link, we'll hit copy. And from here, we will open up a Google Doc document. Inside the document, we're gonna paste that link, okay? Now from here, we need to determine how many breakout rooms that we're gonna have. For this instance, I'm gonna have two breakout rooms. So I'm gonna paste this link two more times. So I'll simply hit enter. When I hit enter, it's gonna come underneath the original link and I'll paste a new version of it. I'll do the same thing again. Now, as we look at these links, we see that there are similarities to it in terms of uh, towards the end, towards the middle where it says lookout slash. This lets you know that this is the link. After that is the identifier. So if I delete everything after the slash and retitle it to group one, I have now I, uh, created a new Google Meet, which will be considered our breakout room for group one. I will do the same for group two as well. From here, I'm simply just going to copy the link that I've made that says for group one. I'll copy the link, I'll open a new browser, and then I'll paste it in the URL. This now will generate a new Google Meet with the title group one and this will be your first breakout room. I can go back to the document, do the same thing for group two, hit copy, go into a browser and paste it. And again, we'll have our second breakout room with the title group two. Now from here, we can open up the original link that we copied and paste it or and click it and open it up in the browser and now we have all three of our rooms open now we can monitor it as a teacher and make sure what was assigned to them is happening now how do you get this information to your students well i'm going to go back into the document i'm going to copy where it says group one i'm going to go back into the original room that was created the group meet and from here i am going to open up the chat box and let individuals first i'll put their names and then i'll paste the link in the chat and say that you guys are in group one and from there once i paste it into the chat students can now click on that link and again it will take them to that breakout room in which they can enjoy Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was very beneficial on how to develop breakout rooms in Google Meet. I do want to emphasize there are extensions available to make breakout rooms. However, from my experience, they are not as easily understood and sometimes can be very confusing in doing. I feel that doing it this way, utilizing a Google Doc is easier to do and at the end of the day, it does the same thing that those breakout rooms ask you to do as those extensions go through and ask you to paste links into the chat uh, for students to go into breakout rooms. So in my opinion, doing it through the Google Docs is an easier way of making that happen. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts of uh, how I showed you how to create breakout rooms. If there also are other ways to create breakout rooms, please, please share it as well. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps out what we're trying to do. This is Chris, aka The Clever Guru. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.